In this video, I'll demonstrate how to convert logic projects from a stereo mix with a stereo output to a Dolby Atmos format. So here's a song I mixed in stereo, and you can see that there is a main output going to output one and two, and then there's a master VCA that you can use to trim the volume of the main output. The song is called Run from the artist Sophia Varaz, and I'll play you a little bit of the pre-chorus and chorus. This version of the song is currently available on all streaming platforms in stereo, but if I wanted to do a spatial audio mix for this, the first thing I need to do is convert the output format for the entire project from stereo to Dolby Atmos 7.1.2. To do this, simply go up to Mix, go down to Dolby Atmos, and this will bring up the same audio project settings dialog I demonstrated in the previous video. And here you can change the spatial audio format from off to Dolby Atmos. And once again, this will convert to 7.1.2. So what does this actually do for my Logic project? Well, first it swapped out all of my mono and stereo panners for surround panners, and the stereo output and master VCA have been swapped out for a single master output track with the Dolby Atmos plugin preloaded on the channel. So now each channel in your mix is essentially outputting a 7.1.2 surround format. And the main purpose of the Dolby Atmos plugin is to encode the 7.1.2 format coming into the Atmos plugin into one of many different monitoring formats for your mixing needs. So if I have a discrete surround system in my studio for 5.1 or 7.1, or maybe even a discrete Atmos setup, I can monitor that way, or I can encode this to binaural, so I can still hear all of these surround effects in headphones. So just keep in mind that for all of the audio examples in this course from here on out, headphones are required to hear these spatial audio effects. You won't hear these spatial audio effects if you monitor in 2.0, which is just a standard two-speaker stereo system. The simple act of converting a mix like this to Atmos is quite simple, but one thing I want to stress right up front is that you shouldn't expect a stereo mix to immediately sound amazing in spatial audio. In fact, it will probably sound objectively worse until you actually remix the song for spatial audio. Yeah, so even just converting this song over, we're getting clipping on the master now, and I'm hearing way too much of the background synths and ambient elements of the song. So we definitely need to remix the song for this format. So that's the key takeaway here. You have to mix for the Dolby Atmos format. So converting a mix from stereo to Atmos will also involve rebalancing and repositioning many elements in your mix, rethinking how to approach bus routing, where plugins are placed, and there are also other mastering and delivery standards we'll talk about in future videos in this course. So for now, let's just isolate a single element of this mix. Let's take one of the guitar tracks, for example. Now right now, this guitar track is being fed to bus 8 on the output. I'm going to send this over to the master fader by choosing a surround output. And now I can double click on the surround panner to open it up in its own window. Now as long as I have the Atmos plugin monitoring in binaural and I'm wearing headphones, I should be able to move this guitar around in the surround field, and I should be able to still hear all of the front, side, and rear positioning in headphones. So listen along with me on headphones and see if you hear these spatial effects. So 
So that's how you can convert your stereo mix into a Dolby Atmos format for spatial audio mixing. If you're going to do dedicated stereo and spatial audio mixes for your song, I highly recommend saving the spatial audio mix as a separate logic project by using the save as function or at least save it as a project alternative so that you can keep two separate versions of the mix. Converting to Dolby Atmos is pretty easy, but converting back to stereo is not so easy.